antithesis. Mm. And in campus like JNU, they compare like, Marx and Ambedkar, Mao mm. Ambedkar, this kind of uh, You mean to say that, you know, I mean, yeah, the to research topics basically, yeah. what you are. Hey, look, it all depends on uh, the teachers, I'm telling you. When I opted a paper in my MPhil, uh, Dalit politics in India, that uh, when uh, the day that students has to be were taken their viva on their uh, research topics, one senior professor, a very senior progressive professor, commented very, it's a very ugly comment in our own department. He said, how come the research agenda in the department changed from political theory to Dalit politics? <laughs> now, what I mean to say here is that, I'm not saying that, you know, our teachers are not teaching, you know, I mean, no. The change must come from the other. Like, there are many teachers, you know, who should own these issues? Why there is an everyday conflict, tension within the rural sphere? Say it as a caste, say it as a gender, it all depends on how you motivate students within the classroom. This year I am teaching ideating dignity as my optional paper for MPhil students. So we don't know how many students will work on that. So somewhere pedagogically you have to tune them. Obviously the other will describe. I'll give you the best example. One student in sociology department in Delhi University want to do studies on Dalit students' suicides in different universities. This student was constantly described by the colleagues, why you are passionate to do this? What you will achieve by doing these such kind of you know, topics? Why don't you change your topic? I mean, they don't want such topics to be researched. And I'll tell you the best example. Partly there could be technical reasons why they have rejected my application in ICSSR major research projects. I don't care. They are scared about my four-piece article. I came to know that. You know, can any Brahminical professor dare to sanction a fund for me to work on contested spaces, exclusion and discrimination in higher educational institution? I sent a proposal to ICSSR. My proposal was rejected. I mean, there are many reasons I would like to... Time will come. Certainly, I'll tell. But right now, I don't want to tell. One, you can easily guess what could be the reason. Who might be in the board? And who doesn't want you know, that to be... You know, otherwise, you know, my sample was 1,600 sample. I want to study four state universities and four central universities as my sample study. Why? I mean, it's a socio-psychological study I want to study. What kind of psychological trauma that they face when you get into the higher academic portals like Delhi University, JNU, Hyderabad University, Pondicherry University, or even Patna University, which there was a recent, you know, I mean, violence on Dalit students. So I want to study that. I want to map these, you know, psycho social psychological concern of these, you know, groups. Now, my smile is the answer, you know, I mean, who will... I mean, I don't care. I, I, I mean, I'm, neither I am let down. No, I am not going to leave this. I will do this topic and I will say that, look, if you are not going to sponsor, or if the, if the people who sat in that interview, sorry, that, you know, scrutiny, who didn't sanction, they can't stop me my, doing my research. I will go ahead. I know how to go ahead. Every day is my research day. I talk to Dalit students every day in my department. I'm mapping that. The entire, you know, public space is my research, you know, domain. I'm seeing, in fact, if, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm working on a paper called The Myth of Merit in Delhi University. I'm just mapping down the language, decoding the language that the experts, they use to the students who come for the interviews. So truly these things are coming up, you know, and you know, I'll be publishing them in either in different, you know, I mean, journals, you know, I mean, one case study which I have made in Delhi University, mathematics department, so Brahminical, and the present vice chancellor is from the same department. And I, interestingly, and I mean, I collected the entire data, 
This Dalit boy stood entire first class in his entire studies from 10th to plus 2 to graduation in mathematics. And he comes and joins in the mathematics department and he gets all single digits in his eight papers. He is the one who fought with all the institutions including UGC, SCST Commission, MHRD, Information Commission. He went to each and every institution to seek justice. No institution rescued him. No institution, including MHRD. He went, there is entire correspondence which is lying. If you want, you can go to the article. You know, I, we wrote it as Institutional Injustice and the Dalit Merit. That is the title which we gave. It published in Social Action. In, I think, uh, a couple of years before, two years before. Institutional Injustice and the Dalit Merit. Dalit Merit and the Institutional Injustice. It's a case study. And we gave all file numbers, references file numbers as the sources, quoting the entire, narrating the case. And this boy, so brilliant, so courageous, fighting against the system, also want to prove his real merit. He wrote to Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore. He was selected. He was called for PhD interview. He didn't have MSc because of the discriminative think of Delhi University and he also wrote IIT Chennai entrance and he stood best among the top best students he was qualified IIT Chennai for his masters again in mathematics partly you know few teachers came and supported him that's a different thing then he, went. he went because you know he saw he said that no I don't want to go and I want to fight I said no this fight you can lead at any time at later stage. Don't miss this opportunity. At most they might give you 40% and they will pass you. Go and prove your merit. And he proved and he got 62% and he came back from IIT Chennai. There are many instances one can Where quote. Is he now, sir? I mean, I think, you know, after he left in Ch from Chennai, he wanted to prepare for UPS. You know, twice he contacted me and later on I didn't come. I mean, uh, he's not in contact. Uh, but these are one best case study which I can give. So, I mean, what I mean to say is that, I mean, many issues are there. So, academically, I decided to contribute something. Yeah, we diverted from that, you know, project. Project. See how, you know, see, universities are, the institutions must promote such kind of say that, look, students, in fact, the context was very interesting. In 2011, June 9th, I'm giving you the date. The UGC issued circular to all registrars in the universities in the country asking universities to start counseling centers for Dalit students, why Dalits are facing discrimination, why they are committing suicides. That was the context, which I did mention. This is the context. In fact, Anoop, Insight Foundation, they have a blog that, you know, the death of merit. They have the entire list, how many people committed suicide, you know. So by taking inspiration from that, Senthil Kumar, it's a never ending, you know, struggle of these Dalit boys. I thought that that would be the best contribution that academically I can make. Well, you know, nothing is an end, you know. No, I'm going ahead. I mean, there are many issues that can be, you know, I mean, discussed. But, see, that is how institutions also, I mean, when you asked about research topics, many of my students, they work on these issues. Neither I impose on them. No. But you have to tune them. There are many students want to work on student politics now. One student is working on student politics. Both JNU and DUS, you know, comparative study. Ask them to compare who you say. No, but this boy is, you know, I mean, uh, 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 from Hindi belt. And it's only for MPhil. Partly I can ask him to compare with OU when he wants to do, in case if he wish to do his PhD. Maybe one university from, you know, south. That would be interesting. So how do you tune them? That all depends on not Dalit teachers only, but the other teachers. They don't want to supervise on, I mean, caste conflicts. What do you want to read? No, no, that's not good. You do on Panchayati Raj. You do on something else. You do on Marx. You do on, you know I mean, dialectical materialism. 
it is important and then we talk about academic freedom so you know i mean this academic freedom what academic freedom academic you know it is there is no more you know i mean freedom in academics academics is a big mafia i'm uh, sorry to say this even though i am in, uh, in academics publishing is a mafia academic institutions are mafia you know i mean you have your own you know agenda so i mean it is at least political mafia is best you know they will directly say but in an academic you know this thing they don't even tell you they will smile on your face saying that oh but they will backstab you so badly you can't by the time you realize that there is something happened everything will be vanished so you have to survive in this you know contesting atmosphere you know i don't deny good teachers the many good teachers who played an important role if i am speaking so confidently today there are many teachers who stood say that look you go ahead they are not not only from dalits i mean i have problems with dalit teachers who right try to i mean say that nay 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 you know there are many you know people but there are many others also who really the supportive in nature but still you know you have to negotiate you have to negotiate at different levels so i mean research is something which is very interesting and we have to motivate the student